All right, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Smash Mode. We're gonna have to make this video real quick because I took too long to record it, to start recording it. We have the Mind of Mayhem coming up tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Central. We'll be live streaming that. If you wanna see me get owned in PvP or possibly do well, we'll see. Uh-oh, Mike's falling down. Um, so we're gonna do a quick checklist of what I think we need to be ready for PvP. Um, first, I want to open this. I got lucky on my last dragon attack. I believe that's the helmet. Let's see if that's a lot better than Fenris's current helmet. Oh, heck yes. That is way better. If we ever finish that set, we get 50% critical hit damage. So, the first thing I was really trying to do, and this really bothers me that I can't go any further. We want to max out our abyss level so we get as much soul fire per hour. And preferably for a dragon that has a good amount of passives. Unfortunately, my dragon doesn't have too many passives. I just have fortitude and ferocity. Um, the other thing you really want, in my opinion, because the main thing you're dealing with in terms of PvP that's going to give you problems is Rakan. Especially with this race. Um, with this race, Lich is... I haven't had an issue yet. Like, Lich is the easiest opponent in the world. And I have been stomped out by a Rackin one time so far. So I think you want the Humanoid Prediation. Or, of course, Hero Prediation is so good. If you can find one with that. Or if you want to roll the dice on your abilities. and I'm not sure. Maybe you can have both of them. That'd be interesting to try one day. All right, so next up, we've got to have our gear. We want to have the stat bonuses. And I am up to date as much as I can be. I have, I've not had too many drops, too many of the uh, recipe drops um, from stage 60 to 70. This was a nice piece. Got this right before we started. I wish I would have crafted that live. Oh well. Oh, and this is one of the set items. I bet that top's out at 24. We're lucky enough to get this when we first started. It'd be awesome to complete that set one day. And here's who I've been working on the most. Um, just unkillable unless it's magic damage i ha i've he's always my last hero in the abyss if all my other heroes are dead and if it we had no time limit he would get the job done <laughs> almost every time And, of course, you want to have more heroes than what I do. <laughs> the more heroes you have, the greater the chance of a stat bonus. But I'm saving up all my Lenari for a Lucky Wheel. I want to get a ridiculous amount of Lenari. It's probably going to take six to eight months to get the amount that I want. All right, so Army Cap. Um, for Mind to Mayhem, I highly recommend that you do not have any bronze troops. It's just going to give you an advantage over players that do. Um, don't bring any siege with you. That's just extra power that you don't need. Now, I'm not sure yet because I, I'm still thinking it over, but in my opinion, you would only want enough troops to have three full, full armies. Um, I still need to think that over. But for sure, do not bring bronze troops with you. It's just going to give someone a, an advantage over you who is bringing... Who's, who is not bringing bronze troops. Excuse me. And, you know, we're, we are up to date as far as we can be on our void. It's just that abyss is killing me. I know we could, I know we could make a solid push for 320. It's just, it was, it was going by so smoothly and then bam, can't do anymore. Um, we are slacking on our void. I'm going to try to step that up. Level 81 is the one you want. 
If you get that recipe on 81 before anybody else, that is a game changer. As far as research goes, I am focusing on two researches, two research trees for heroes. Um, I really, this is going to be so beautiful. 50% increased attack rate for the first 30 seconds. I mean, a lot of PvP paddles don't even make it past 30 seconds. So that is going to be awesome to have. Yeah. Once we level up a little bit more, start getting that. I believe it's going to be a 20% increase. It could be as high as 25%. But if it goes up to level 50, who knows how long that's going to take. It's probably going to take two or three weeks. And we're focusing on our gladiator. Of course, if you can get these, um, you know, minus one bronze supply cap for each hero, I would go for it. Um, I'm more focused on Abyss, but... If it takes forever to keep pushing the abyss, I'll probably start rushing these. I mean, just off the bat, I'm talking a 20% decrease in what's required for gold troops. Got a while to go on this one. That's pretty much all I have. Um, I mean, I'm going to change my army, but you really want to create your army to counter what's giving you the most issues. Um gonna need some more angry birds and probably probably these will get eaten alive <laughs> against Rackin. you really want that 20 percent dodge rate that's gonna make a huge difference in the beginning so i, I highly recommend don't not using these in pvp i really do enjoy them for rating though so good in rating that's pretty much all i got sorry it was short got a rush to work i thank you all for watching have a great day see you want to tell them to have a great day all right, wifey is not going to say have a great day. You want to say bye? Bye. All right, that's all we get out of her today.